Zeta here with Heroes Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Hi. Um, we are in our grammar class. We're going to be talking about prepositions today. Let's open up a word of prayer and we'll get right into it. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. And to our lesson we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So there are prepositions. Pre, a preposition is a small word, like in, at, or, I mean, it, in, at, on, below, above, between, you know, all these words. There are small words that are going to show you several things. They're either going to tell you direction, they're going to tell you location, time, or introduce an object. So it's going to tell you direction, it'll tell you direction, location, the time it is, the time something occurred. So a preposition, that's basically the definition. It's just a small word that's gonna give you some, one of the other words, it's gonna tell you those, uh, the answer to some of those questions. Let me just give you some examples. I've got five on the board, and hopefully we, there are maybe a hundred prepositions, right? Or prepositional phrases. And I don't have enough space to go over a hundred. But as long as you get the, the point, then I think that doing the five, uh, working with the five prepositions on the board should be sufficient coupled with the exercise you have in your workbook to give you an understanding of what a preposition does in a sentence. And by doing that, it'll help you to be able to identify them, even if it's one you haven't learned from class. So the word in, um, if I say, please stay inside. If I say stay, let's use a different color. If I say stay inside, Or stay in the house. Stay in the house. Okay, so we have um, stay, which would be our verb, right? And our noun is here. Our subject is you, right? Because even though there's no you here, it's implied. You stay in the house. I'm talking, if I say stay in the house, I'm probably talking to, talking to you. Stay in the house. Now the word in is this word right here, and it tells us um, a direction, it tells us um, the direction it wants us to, the, um, it tells the direction in the sentence. It says stay in, stay where in. So a preposition is just a little word. Uh, most of them are small. Some of them may be longer, like between or um, beneath, but they're usually mostly small words. They don't, they're not nouns, they're not verbs. They're not um, going to be the subject of your sentence. That's not their role. Their role is simply to tell you direction or location or time or something like that. Let's use a different sentence. So that's for in. Let's try for on. Um, Sam turned on the radio. Okay. So Sam, we see him as the subject. We see turned as the verb. We see the radio as another noun. But this word on is going to give us a tell us, like I said before, one of four things: direction, location, time, or what's the fourth one? Introduces an object. Okay, so it's a very small word, it's easy to see. Uh, Tim. Tim at home for now. Let's see. Tim is at home. Let's try it at. Let's come down here. Tim is at home. Very simple sentence. Tim is at home. Tim is the subject. Would you agree? Uh, home is the uh, noun. The verb is, is. What about at? At is the preposition. So if you've been following along with the lessons, you know very, um, I would say very fluently, all of the different parts of the sentence. We call them parts of speech. Verb, uh, noun, the subject noun even. We've talked about um, different pronouns, object nouns, uh, object pronouns, subject pronouns. We've talked about um, quite a few things. We've talked about adverbs, adjectives. 
the word, the preposition is the word that doesn't fit any of those categories. It's not going to be an adverb. It's not going to be an adjective or anything like that, okay? Okay, let's find another sentence. Let's use the word by. CEO spilled the milk by accident. Okay, so um, this word, Theo spilled the milk by accident. Who's the subject, Theo? Theo's the subject. What did he do? He spilled, so there's the verb. Uh, here's another noun, milk. Uh, by accident is, a, is actually a prepositional, what we call a prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase. Um, don't worry about that too much. Just focus on the by. I just want to show you that there can be phrases too. He spilled it by accident. How? By accident. And that, that particular one would answer the question of, of time. Finally, let's look at the sentence uh, using the word out, using the preposition out. Let's say Pam. Okay, so Pam went out. Uh, Pam is the subject. The verb is here. Out is the preposition. Okay. Where did she go? She went out. So, um, as you're putting your sentences together, it I just want it to become easier and easier for you to, be able to identify the different parts of speech in your sentence. I want you to be able to look at the sentence and see quite easily the subject noun. I want you to easily see any other noun in the sentence because a sentence can have many nouns, right? I can. We we've seen that uh, here. So here is Sam is a subject, and then we said radio. That's a that's a noun. So a subject can have, I mean, a, a sentence can have multiple nouns, multiple verbs. Um, it can have multiple prepositions. I can have multiple adjectives. I can say, I really like your beautiful green, you know, lovely shirt. Beautiful green, lovely. So it can have many adjectives. It can even have adverbs. You know, two adverbs. You know, uh, she ran so quickly to see her. How quickly? So quickly. Well, quickly is an adverb, and so is so. So being able to identify those really easily will just make you a more confident writer, and you'll just feel more studious. <laughs> you'll feel like, oh, okay, I, I've got this English stuff down pat, no problem. Please take time to complete your exercise in your workbook just to reinforce. Uh, once, I, once again, there are maybe 100 prepositions or prepositional phrases, so we've only gone over five. There are some extras in your workbook. But if you want to do some extra research with your mommy and daddy, they can show you other prepositions. You can refer back to Great K's English Workbook where we have some prepositional phrases or prepositional words. Um, or you can just, using your everyday conversation, say, I'm going to go outside. You can say, um, let's go by the store. You can just break that word up, look for the different parts of speech until you find that by is a preposition. So thank you so much for coming to class and for being a part of this lesson. But until tomorrow, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With hero's body